Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching this video already. My name is Sonia and I'm a full-time newborn photographer here in Bangalore. Today I'm here with helping you out and showing you how to wrap a newborn baby at home. A mother can do, a parent, any parent can do. As far as they are concerned, they should be very careful. Safety measures should always be on. So, let's begin with the shoot, but not for the wait. So, I have a simple wrap today. This is just a normal wrap. You can find it on any online store. So, you will have to search for newborn wraps and you will find in case personally you want to know where I buy newborn wraps. Please do DM me or leave on the comment box below. I'll help you out over that. So, yes, let's begin. So, even before I start with the wrapping, it's I am not going to show you anything which would be very risky for a newborn since it's not done by a profession. I'm just going to show you how you can do a better photo shoot at home without any sort of properties or any sort of any other equipments required. Just this would do natural light, your phone or camera. So let's begin. Firstly, you have to place the wrap behind the baby. So you have to open up the wrap. Always make sure. Okay, yeah. Always make sure you have your hand behind the baby's neck to support the neck because their neck is not stable. You should always have this being supported. Let's neatly just have this behind and carefully place the baby onto your lap. Now, take this fabric which is there and so what I am doing over here is, so first, as I just told you how you place the wrap underneath or maybe you know, if you are scared to do that, of course you would. So I would uh, want someone to hold the baby. You can just have it, the baby only with a diaper and no clothes when you are doing this. Uh, so someone can hold it for you and then when you are okay with the wrap on your on your lap you should you I would tell that they should be just few on to your right hand side and the remaining the extension on the left so let's place the baby down on your lap make sure you always have a support under the baby's neck here and the hands so in case you keep place the ha baby's hand on top of the body like that and the feet like this you just the feet this is how the feet would go it's gonna be you take it cross them and there you go one on top of the other and the hands in this way, they, when you're wrapping, if the baby is crying or something, the baby will tend to remove the hand like that. So, what we're going to do, we will just, for the simple wrap, let's place the baby's hand underneath their lower body. And let's just start doing the wrap. So, so we are going to wrap from the, from the upper body to the lower which would come from the neck to the bottom. So this is how it should go. Diagonally, the other portion as well. So slowly take the axis. In, so here, since I have been doing this for years, I know how to take care of the neck. I would uh, suggest you, I would request you to have someone to help you out in holding the baby's neck they can just sit down right here and make sure that the baby's neck is being supported when you when you are uh, when someone or the person who's doing the wrapping the other person can just sit down here and help the for the baby's neck to be supported right so let's go with the lower angle let's take the other side and diagonally just wrap it the other way around take the other side the left side 
this is the lengthier one and diagonally just crisscross it on the other side now uh, parents might think that would be be not be like suffocated in it and things no they wouldn't yeah here now next step carefully hold the baby's neck under one hand always under the baby's neck take the excess tuck it behind pull it out make sure you make it as a proper one and again place the baby back onto your lap now again let's take the other half again and vertically cross it put it down now you know we now we are not taking it up but we are taking it down tuck it tuck it tuck it wherever possible wherever you find it not to be neat try and tuck it underneath the baby and it need not need to be very neat tidy and things guys to do this at home i totally understand but yet you can do it again this goes behind just wrap it wrap it wrap it the axis here i am actually doing a very simple cocoon pose so look it already looks nice and neat just take the excess you can just leave the excess if you want for the photo session to come down or just take the excess in case you have a lot which could cover you can take it and wrap again or just tuck it behind 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 the baby so this is a very simple wrap i hope you can just see it how it looks already it's a very simple and easy one yet let let me show you another trick you can actually criss cross the wrap now again professionals can do this not a new person who's handling a newborn not recommended but yet i'll just show you how to do that just take half of it the first i just remove the first wrap i'm like the last wrap of what i did it which i placed it underneath i just remove those and now what you're going to do is take the left side and just cover it half away not full just let this go underneath and come from behind and get it down tuck and tuck and tuck and every excess you feel anything which is coming out try and tuck it behind this is the way that you do it underneath please uh, as i said they would be someone to always have the baby's head to be hold it not too hard not too soft make sure you are holding in the right amount of pressure okay so here this is how you just tuck and tuck and tuck and and this is a little criss cross that you have found a v shape that you find this looks much more beautiful uh so yes this is all about for one session of how to just wrap the baby in the next session i'm going to show you how you can do the photo shoot on your bed now if you have a couch even a sofa it's still fine you can do it here provided you just place a nice plain uh color cloth either a bed sheet should be fine or a plain white cloth which is not see through that should be fine i would just recommend you to do that on your bed and how and what i would be letting you know all of the other details on my next video so for that stay tuned be careful and don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel also you can find me on my insta handle one is casper photography and the other is newborn photography bangalore i have tutorials i show you my behind the scenes and uh, many of the tricks that i can help you out in doing it at home 
yeah so thank you guys for watching once again please be careful stay safe stay healthy take